From Hollywood, the television capital of the world, it's time to go reeling through the greatest television shows of all time on Couch Potato! present. You never know what show might pop up on our TV sets, but before we do that, what do you say we meet our team? Starting off with our red team, the Colby's. We have Jared, Mike, and Justin. Chad, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, I am from Los Angeles, and I work for Nintendo. Do you really? Yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't know they were still in business. Mike, tell me about your life. Uh, I live in Los Angeles, Thank and I am a pet sitter. Yes. What's the weirdest <laughs> animal you've ever sat for? An iguana. Oh, really? Do <laughs> you remember the iguana's name? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And Dustin? I flew all the way from Key West. I'm our 911 center uh, manager for the city of Key West. Wow. And I'm thrilled to be here. Oh, well, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you for flying all that way. Oh, no problem. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Well, welcome to you. We're going to say hi to the NBC News team, David, Brian, and Tony. Tony, tell me about your life. I'm uh, working just outside Chicago, Illinois. And uh, uh, we got here back in 95. And I love escaping. Do you really? Oh my god. Really? Oh, my god. And uh, tell us what you do for a living. Uh, I uh, work for an antivirus software company. So I'm very nice. I'm buying that stuff. Very nice. And uh, Brian? That's how we met, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, he gave you a virus? Is that what you <laughs> well, you said it was gone. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Brian? I work at NBC. Uh, doing what? In, in, uh, content distribution. Oh, what the hell does that mean? Uh, <laughs> I've just been there four months still trying to figure it out. <laughs> um, but the check's clear. Good. And, and your face is cleared up too. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five years, Thanks. and married with a five-year-old kid, and so happy to be here. Oh, no. <laughs> and David and I, I must confess, know each other. I lectured in his class recently uh, over at uh, Oakwood, right? Right. So I may be ineligible for this. Disqualify <laughs> 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 you, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Teach game shows, math, great combination. All right. Well, we're going to ask you anything and everything about television. And uh, from daytime, maybe prime time, <laughs> even commercial time, and any time there's something on the tube, you can bet a couch potato will be there. Well, you would have this, the, the turn to the yes. camera. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Each round begins with a tuning question, and the team that answers correctly will earn how many points, Bob Bowden? 100 points. No, 25. Oh. <laughs> Okay, whichever team has the most ready points at the end of the game will win the thousand dollars and go on to play our channel roulette bonus game for how much, Bob? Five thousand. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's get going. Don't shout out any answers. Super Chicken, Mighty Mouse, or Mighty Joe Young? Which of these characters battled Oil Can Harry and saying, "Here I come to save the day"? Uh, Brian. Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse is right. Yeah. <laughs> 25 points, so you guys have control. Uh, these spinoffs are all on the subject of super spuds. All right, look at that. Awesome. <laughs> super spuds. Proving that John Ritchie really has too much time. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Steve Austin was a government cyborg played by Lee Majors. How much was he worth to the Office of Scientific Information? Uh, yes, uh, David? Uh, Six million dollars. You are right. <laughs> So, uh, David, you're out of this round. That means only Brian and Tony can play. Here's your question. Separately, Batman and Robin were known as the Cape Crusader and the Boy Wonder, but together you could call them a DD, standing for what kind of duo? Yes, Tony? Dynamic. Yes, Dynamic. Duo. <laughs> 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 what happened there? Just like sitting there with a bunch I of meters. <laughs> Right. 75 points is what you have, and uh, this one's for you, Brian. Right. When TV's Wonder Woman took off her cape, belt, and bracelets, and slipped into some sensible clothes and glasses, what regal name did she use? Have any idea? Wonder Woman? Oh, don't have any idea? Uh, you guys can take it. What do you think it is? Yes, Mike. Diana Prince. You are right. <laughs> So, uh, you guys got 25 points, you're down by 50, but uh, we're moving into our next round. Here we go. Everybody plays. True Blood, Six Feet Under, or Deadwood. 
David Ruprecht played a television, television, televangelist, easy for me to say, on one HBO series about vampires. Uh, Dustin, you are right. So this subject is uh, spinoffs on TV guest stars, and uh, we're going to... Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, gee, who could be at the door? Oh, oh look, it's David Ruprecht! <laughs> Like uh, schlepping around in supermarkets all those years. I never had to do it. Never had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to ask questions about your life. So, go all right, ahead. okay. Oh, good. Here's a good one. Uh, we'll hope so. <laughs> my character on Three's Company was Philip Dawson, an art dealer who married Janet Wood in the series finale. Who played my TV wife, Janet? Oh, oh Mike. It's Joyce DeWitt. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, so 7575, tiebreaker here, hopefully. Next you question. Look at this. Oh, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> having fun. I played the host of a game show. I didn't remember this. <laughs> As I was saying, I played the host of a game show called Lucky Spin on a series that saw Fred Savage trying to climb the corporate ladder at Upton Weber. Name this NBC sitcom. Wow. That's a tough one. <laughs> Anybody have any I wouldn't no, you know guess. the answer to this. No. Any, oh. Ryan? Is it working? Yes! Yeah. 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 Why did you pull that out of your ass? <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> All, right. All right, you guys have to leave by 25. Here's the last question. Blue Blue teams. Teams. I guest starred as three different characters on three different episodes of this 80s series with Soleil Moon Fry in the title role. What was the series? Oh, David. Oh, that's Funky Brewster. That would be yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Well, you kicked ass there. So what, what's going on? You just did a play in... Uh, in Palm Desert with Eileen Graff, who's going to be here later. Oh, oh she wow. is? Yes. Yes. We had a good time. And, and who wrote the show? Uh, Lloyd Schwartz, son of Sherwood oh, Schwartz, yeah. oh, 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 who created oh. a couple of shows. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. that lasted a few years. What's going on for you? Nothing. Nothing. I'll be the right with you. David Rupert! Okay, uh, NBC News 125, the uh, Colby 75. We'll be back with more. <laughs> Okay, everybody's uh, in on this thing now, so remember it's 50 points for correct answer, and uh, correct answer, Colby, you can tie the game. As a cop, as a news writer, or as a butcher, how did a guy named Murray Slaughter earn his key? Yes, that would be David. News writer. Uh, that would be correct. <laughs> All right, so you guys are in charge. You have 150 right now. These are each worth 50 points. The subject of these spinoffs is It's a Living. We're going to talk about TV occupations. All right, NBC News. Before becoming a fugitive... What did Richard Kimball do for a living? What did Richard Kimball do for a living? Really, I'm shocked. <laughs> Brian? I guess he was a surgeon? Uh, well, except that doctor is in front of him. Absolutely. <laughs> there he goes, Richard Kimball. All right, so you're out of this one. It's up to David or Tony. On Modern Family, Ty Burrell plays the well-meaning, self-proclaimed cool dad, Phil Dunphy. But here's the question. How does Phil bring home the bacon to his three kids? What's he doing for a living? Yes, Tony. Is he a real estate agent? He is a real estate agent. There you go. <laughs> All right, 170, no, 200 to 75 on both the original and the 2015 version of The Odd Couple. Oscar Madison worked in sports. But what did his roommate Felix do to earn money to share uh, the rents? Oh, what did he do? Worth 50 points. Uh, David? I'll say he was a... Uh, oh, a photographer. You're right! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
225 for you guys. Uh, Colby, 75. All right, here we go. We have another uh, tune-in round here. Uh, Tina Louise or Jean. Tina Louise or Jean. What was the first name of the actress who played Ginger on Gilligan's Island? <laughs> David. Tina. Yeah, Tina Louise. That was it. <laughs> There she is up over there. All right, you guys have a 275, 200 points more than the Colbys. Uh, this is for you. These spinoffs all concern the big old anchor in TV history, Gilligan's Island. <laughs> the crew on the Minnow never expected to be shipwrecked. How long was the crew supposed to be? How long was the crew supposed to be? Yes, Brian. It was always supposed to be a three hour A three hour <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have three and a quarter. The familiar theme song that laid out the show's premise was co written by George Weil and this man. The creator of Gilligan's Island, name him. If you were listening a few minutes ago, you would have gotten him. Yes, uh, Bert Davis. Sherwood Schwartz. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh! oh. oh. Uh, all right, 375 to 75. Here we go. Uh, this is another uh, Everybody Plays, hopefully. Everybody's up. Long after the original show sank. No, this is still for you guys. Yeah, just Tony. This is for you. Long after the original show in 1967 when it went in the tubes, the castaways co starred in a TV movie with what basketball team? Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll yes. Uh, Celtics. No, that's not right. Colby's can be taken. The Harlem Club. Yeah! yeah. But uh, NBC News has more points than they thought, 475. They always have 125, but you know what? It doesn't make any difference because it's time to play the couch-up round where we compete head-to-head -head on every question. The value of each question is determined by the randomizer, and that stops when you hit your buzzer, all right? So when you hit your buzzer, that'll pop up, and if you can answer it, we'll be in good shape. There are values ranging from 50 to 200 points, as well as the couch-up. When you hit the couch-up, and the team which is behind can then tie the score if you have the correct answer. Each get two chances to play, and the team with the most points at the end of today's game will be our champions. And the subject of today's couch-up round is... As the TV Spins. I'm going to give you the name of a popular spin-off series. You give me the original show it came from. Okay, here we go. Knott's Landing. And that would be Dustin. And it's worth 200 wow. points. Dallas is correct. 325 to 475. See how it works. Now we're going to play with Mike and Brian. Benson. Brian. So. So for 200 points. Yes. 675 to 325. It's Chad against David. Better call Saul. For 150, Breaking bad. Chad. Breaking bad. Yes, you are right. All right, 200 points separates these teams. 675 for NBC News. Kobe's at 475. This time it's Dustin and Tony. Melrose Place. 150, Dustin. Uh, it's, uh... Oh, time is up. Can you take it, Tony? Uh, Beverly Hills, 90210? Yes! Yeah. 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 Wow! 825 for NBC News. Colby's, I thought you were going to get a close chance to tie it up there. You have 475. It's not over yet. This is Mike and Brian. Private practice. Brian, for 50. You are right. Oh, yeah. 875. And this is uh, Chad and David. Let's hope we can get a couch up here. Use the couch up. You need it, otherwise. I think that the NBC News team is walking away. Mork and Mindy. It's 150. It's David. You can answer it, but it doesn't make any difference. Happy Mork days. and Mindy. Happy days. Yeah. 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 All right. So, the 1,025 points NBC News team wins. Yeah. Yeah. These guys just spent more time watching TV than you did. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being a round of applause for the Colby. Oh, that's hard. Oh, cool. yeah. hard. Let's get a break here. We come back to uh, play the bonus for $1,000. Stay tuned. We'll be back for more after this. Woo! God, we could just do this tomorrow. <laughs>
picture from a famous television show, one at a time. We're going to start with you, Tony. Uh, you're going to call out a number, and without help from your couchmates, you will have to identify each show as it's revealed. Each show has a point value ranging from 100 to 1,000. If you can accumulate 1,000 points or more in 30 seconds, you're going to win $5,000. All right. Ooh, yay. Behind one of these channels is something called Pay TV. Mm -hmm. If you select that channel, you're going to lose all the points you've earned up till that time. But as long as there's still time on the clock, you have a chance to earn those 1,000 points. Understand what you got to do? Okay, yes, all right. Your 30 seconds, Tony, begins when the picture behind the number is revealed. Good luck. Ready and go. Two. Two. With the uh, pass. Pass. Uh, Brian. Four. Four. These are what? Yes, 300 points. Going over 11. to David. Monsters. Yes. Five. Five. Oh, 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 all of our points. We're going over to Brian. Two. Two. Game of Thrones. Yes. David. Nine. Nine. You can get it. Come on. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh. 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 What'd you say? You got I it? said circus boy. Yes. Did he get yes. it in time? Yes. Oh, yeah. Do you remember yeah. Circus Boy? I uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, congratulations. Yeah. 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 Yeah.